Um, uh, is this a click game? Oh, it's okay. You use the arrow keys. Not not W A S E. We're not W sad. We arrow keys. With a very stirring soundtrack. Um, no. It sounds like sad kitty cats. So this is grandma.exe or grandmother.exe rather. <clears throat> I understand there are there is a mobile game called Granny that is apparently quite popular. Whoa. Uh oh, did I mess up? Hold on. I think I messed up because I think I clicked when I shouldn't have. So it is locked a button down. So my guy is spinning out of control. Oh my god. All right. Oh, I, I gotta relaunch this. I fucked up. I think I shouldn't have clicked or pressed a button during the loading screen. And I was blasting off. I was rolling around at the speed of sound and I was not ready for it. Let's try that again. It's worth noting the only graphics quality option that there is is... So tired. Is it Gengar? I hope Gengar is my grandma. Alright, hold on. It was this room over here. I've never considered having a Pokemon be my grandmother. I've actually just got to see my grandmother uh, a few weeks ago, and she was definitely a human. She didn't look to be a, a, a Pokemon. You know, I didn't inspect her that closely, JD. You might be onto something. Oh, hello, dear. I'm just sleeping and watching my fav watching my stories. She seems like a nice lady. Oh, Grandma, falling asleep in front of your stories. Why did the music change? Huh. So the soothing static is like a good thing, maybe. Um, this is a nice painting. And this is something, so I, so this video I mentioned about, J made by Jacob Geller, incredible YouTube video, videoer, YouTuber, talked about these games. And I watched 30 seconds of the video. It's like a 20 minute long video essay. I watched 30 seconds of the video and I was like, I'm sold. I need to play these games, but I don't want to watch anymore because I learned it to be an unspoiled experience. But in those 30 seconds, he mentions that leeches are a very... Leeches and tentacles and lampreys are a very common theme throughout all these games. So watching for things like this is important. I don't know how important, but I think it is important. Um... Take knife. Oh. Alright. Um, if we're picking up a knife. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the vibe. So there's no murder granny option. It's probably for the best. She utters to herself. Let me turn the audio a little bit on my end. If she's saying something, I can't... can't make anything out of it. Gotta say, I wish it was Wissad and not Tank Controls. A stab grandma. I, I was thinking it. I wouldn't have wanted to do it, but I mean, you know. Read book. Random page. The priestess sank into the mud, which whispered to her as it filled her ears. This is the Doom font, I think. The Doom text font. From the Doom games, that is. Sank into the mud, which whispered to her as it filled her ears, and she felt his oils and secrets slide across the wrinkled flesh of her brain, and she shivered, and the knife burrowed under her ribs. Well, Grandma, uh... Your bedroom's kind of sad, and the blood splatters, and the murder Bible... Uh... Yeah, Grandma, are you alright? Do we, like, need to talk? Oh, oh wait, no, it was already dark in here. Never mind. The chair is knocked over. Your Grandma, I won't stab you if you don't stab me. Is that, do we have a deal? Can I, like, look up or down? Or, like, inventory? Nope, nothing. Okay. Space, enter, nothing. Okay. Here, I'll turn your stories back on. 
What do you think's better? Having the stories on with the soothing music? Or having the stories off with... I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and say, she's having a rough time. She has blood splatters in her bedroom. And a feature is a sad and featureless bedroom at that. Um, with a book about murder and Bibles and grandmas getting buried into mud. So, let's let her let's let her have her stories, and uh, we'll just let her have that one, you know. So anyway, th all right. See you later, Grandma. I'm gonna go outside and um, explore the woods near our home. Near your home? Our home? Do we live here together? There's only one bed in there. I don't know if I want to share a bed with Murder Grandma. And go that way. Go this way. Let's go this way. Usually in a game like this, following the path is the strat. Let's see if this indeed leads to something. Hey, what's up, Kev? Good to see you, bud. Short render distance? Yeah. Yeah, that is about how it goes, isn't it? How you doing, Kev? On this late evening. It's big on the out. Oh. I... You could have asked me, Alex, what do you think's gonna happen? What do you think you'll stumble upon? I wasn't expecting a flesh nado. Do I enter the flesh nado? It could be quicksand. Oh, I cannot enter the, the flesh nado quicksand. Pee onto it? Pee into it. Now, a true intellectual will tell me to pee in her butt. But I don't know where the butt is. Also, I, I while I was up gallivanting about earlier, I did use the restroom, so I have no pee left to go into her butt. It's Jabu Jabu. This is Jabu Jabu's umbilical cord. Flesh tornado. I, I don't know what's going on here, man. It could be a quicksand. I have no options to interact. Let's keep go let's keep looking around. This might be the dead end for here at least. The forest is unfortunately quite expansive. I think I oh there we go. Invisible wall. Okay, good. So in that case, let's go back and follow the rest of the path then. The bud is anywhere I want it to be. Excellent. Thank you, awful devil devil. I can't always trust you with the ping in her butt. Um Encouragement. I will say, I haven't quite hit the weird part of the night with my brain, but it's probably getting there, because I'm... We're, we have hit hour 14, and in two hours, I will ingest my final caffeinated beverage. That's probably about the point where this where silly mode will activate. Actually, you're right, Kev. It does kind of have that kind of energy, yeah. Umbilical cords and peeing in butts. Um, yeah, Jupiter is probably more realistic. Oh, what's this? Is that you, Satan? Oh. Some hanged corpses? Kill murderer. Kill blasphemer. We have some choices to make. Kill a lecher. So, or a le lecher? Lecher? So murderer, a guy who murders. Blasphemer, one who blasphemes. Speaking of blasphemy. What does a lecher do? Does anyone know what that word means off the top of their heads? I guess I could Google if nothing else. Super P butt. Booty. That's correct. Oh, I need to plug my phone in. Get some juice. Plug my phone in real quick. I was gonna look it up, but my phone is at literally 1% battery. Too horny? Let's not kill the horny man. Yeah, let me plug my phone in real quick. I'm not gonna murder somebody in horny jail. Horny jail shouldn't be- shouldn't have a euth- euth- blah, blah, euthanization. There we go. No lethal injection for horny jail. Letcher, oh, that makes sense. Thank you, awful devil. One who leches, thank you, Banshee. That is correct. So, I think the option is clear. We feast. And that was the only option, one of three. Our choices three was made clear before the, now it's red. With the blood of thine murder. Master Roshi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He is a lecherous lad. They're all innocent. That would be the bamboozle. Is this blood or is that just a lighting thing? Because this is very red.
enter the terminus door by itself. So grandma house is here. But I also see there's a separate structure here that I did I never go through the structure? I guess I didn't. Sign next to a, to a dead guy, yeah. Unless the dead guy was the sign somehow. But yeah, there was no other option telling us such. The sign is the top suspect. It's a sign of things going awry. Let's check on Grandma before I enter hell real quick. It's just embarrassed that I committed a murder most foul. I think I have ruined all the buildings. So I, I guess I can't check on Granny now. I wonder what was in that other building that I just completely walked past earlier. Or something. Or maybe it was intentionally hidden from me. That seems like something I would have maybe seen otherwise. What is that noise? I cannot turn around. We can only go forward. I can't even go backward. We can only go forward. Do you guys think that is blood pumping? A feast? We were implored feast multiple times earlier. I've seen this Windows screensaver. Windows 95. Oh, it's Flesh NATO. And it's one dimensional. I cannot look around. I cannot go back. Only forward. One dimensional game. Still cannot look around. Still cannot go back. Ultima Underground. <laughs> now, I never played Ultima back in the day, but I had some homies that did way back when. We have only one choice. We're still going. We have transcended the need for bridges. We only know the screams. I know which house is yours. Game closed itself. So, I'm going to relaunch that one real quick. I want to see if I can find that house that was next to Grandma. And see if there was something of significance in that house. I bet the answer is no. But I want to make sure I'm a good boy who plays the video game. Yeah, yeah, it's like we quick say or quick loaded rather. That's exactly it, Mr. Devil. Of the off-world variety. This barn is illegal. There's no entrance, no exit. It just is. Oh, here it is. Enter the barn. I lied. The cycling game? I do. Yeah, uh, bike crash. We actually played it the, the, the year prior. Because we, we played it the year prior and we beat it. And it was fun. And I was like, well, that's a game I'll never touch again. And then it was updated like three days before the Extra Life Marathon last year. And it was like, all right, I'll play it again. Fuck it. That shit was bananas. Oh. Looking for, ma like, maybe another murder weapon? Yeah, Bike Crash was cool. I Part of me wonders, like, should I play it this year, too? Like, just keep the tradition alive. Play it every year, but... I don't know. It's, it's probably not... It's probably not, like, exciting for everybody. I love that shit, though. I love stupid, dumb stuff like that. This is not stupid nor dumb. This is... Real gaming. But, yeah, that thing is, like, fun, silly shit. shit. Physics-y nonsense. I love it. The barn... Appears... To be empty. I do want to commit a different murder this time. And I think I will leave the lights off. For Grandma. See if there's any difference. I saw nothing different in the barn. Oh! I should have checked the ladder. I blinded the ladder, didn't I? Or I saw it, but I didn't, like, attempt to... Interact. Ladder. Go. Action. Ladder. Expand. Collect. Harvest. Thirst. Okay, nothing. Okay. Voice activated ladder. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Let's grab our knife and feed the knife some human blood. And because that's what we're doing. We're, we're feeding it. We're making it happy. But when a palate cleanser... Yeah, once, once the sun rises, we'll switch over to silly games. And I've got a bunch of silly games. Well, some are silly. Some are like... 
maybe not silly per se, but like adventure games, like just like platformers, like more more like still indie games, like indie weird shit. But not like this kind of indie shit, you know? Can I stab the painting? Kill the kill. Kill the murder. Kill the act of murdering. Can you stab grandma? I, I I did actually try, but I saw no notific no um opportunities given to us for grandma stabs. So I'm assuming that's the game's subtle way of saying no grandma stabs for you, Alex. It's like the guy in Seinfeld who's like, no soup for you. This is like no grandma stab for you. The game denies us. Maybe it's for the best. Her flak vest, yeah. I can't even I can't even stab her. Or like head or anything. I mean, grandma came prepared, dude. Grandma don't fuck around. Let's find our friends. Who are just so excited. For the events. That are to transpire here. Never mind, that's the flesh nado. God damn it. It was a dice roll. Oh, this is a map? No map. Hey, what's up, Io? And good to see you, bud. We've actually been, Technically, we've been live for 14 hours and some change. But my internet went down for like five minutes a few hours into the stream. So that kind of knocked a couple hours off in the Twitch given uptime. So on OBS, I am informed that we've been live for 14 hours. But... But yeah, the uptime is a little bit silly. So he killed the murderer last time. I don't want to kill- I don't want to send Horny Jail to prison. To death. Let's, uh, murder the Blasphemer. Feast. Still. I think this is gonna be probably the same, then. I'm guessing it's gonna be the same. Cause yeah, we just played through this minutes earlier. I'm doing a speed run with a different murderer. A different murder victim, rather. To see... If anything different were to happen. I follow the red light into the Terminus. He said a bad word. He he said an uncensored heck on his Twitch stream. 25 hours. That's right. 25 hours, baby. I think it's going to be the same. Is it going to be flesh nados? Yep. Okay. All right. So we've, we've already seen this. So I'm going to close the game and we'll play the next one. That was the first of three games within Haunted Cities 1. Next is leechbowl.exe. Again, leeches are apparently a somewhat common theme throughout these games. So, here we are. Derelict, indeed. It's WSAD. W sad. I can jump. I can't crouch. I can sprint. And yeah, this thing is so sensitive. Here's an here's a inch of mouse cursor movement. It is very, very sensitive. Like, I could accidentally go, whoo! And I've done a 360 no-scope without meaning to. Oh, maybe that's why people do this with their mouse. So they can 360 no-scopes with the greatest of ease. Seems like it would kind of spoil the experience, don't you think? Siren Head? Oh, man, I sure hope so. The Siren Head game we played earlier was good, and I want more like it. Like, I want more Siren Head. I want that game to be worked on more, so I can selfishly enjoy more of it. Botfly Road. Honestly, this is giving me some pathologic vibes, which we played about a year and a half ago. And I don't think it's going to be quite to that level of immersiveness, but the vibes. Holy shit, this is my shit right here. Except for the mouse sensitivity where I literally tried to like spin this way and I overspinned and I started to go back the way I came completely by accident. An Eled Crescent, maybe? Uh, bottles of blood. Oh. I made a mess. I have infinite of these things? Man, you fucking yeet these things. Eh. Compressed. Huh. 
Huh. Well, from what I can tell, there's an infinite number of these things. Any vampires in the chat who are thirsty or hungry right now? Because I got a literally infinite supply of food for you. Oh, fuck. Let's just close the game, export this to real life, and send this to hospitals. Uh, infinite blood supply forever. Easy. A really big, yeah, a really big mosquito. Uh, it says leech meal. Oh, I don't like that. Nope, don't like that. Leech meal. I have a feeling we're gonna have to outrun some critters. Can I hide in the dumpster? A la Ashley, Resident Evil 4. Leech meal. Sorry, I broke the glass without meaning to. <laughs> you remember some time ago, in an Eastern scientific institution, they kept a piece of heart alive for weeks on end? Well, I got to thinking, what if that heart began to grow? And grow, and grow, and grow? Yeah, it's not like Awful Devil knows anything about vampires. Nah, couldn't be. Hello, operator. Give me Mr. Regan fast. Like they're just watching a radio program. Listen, get me a rewrite, man. The still grows. Can't pick that one up. No, chief. I tell you the truth. The corridor is choked with living, crawling. What's oh, right? Yeah, it's radio. No, Drama. No, no, I'm not drunk. I'm telling you the truth. That little piece of flesh has grown until now. It's jamming that building. Everything oh, tastes I better with blood. blood. You've got to believe me. They are the skin and the veins and the muscle. They are the nerves, and the brain, and the heart. They hunger, they swim, they sing, they call. They will... Buck... Their... Teeth... Through you? It's a little bit hard to read. You will be drunk... To... Slake... Them? Slate them. You will be hollowed out, turned to waste, and forgotten. Call me Cookie. Hmm. I think we're in a city for leeches. And we're like the only non leech. Well, maybe we're a leech as well. I don't fucking know. But. I feel like we're about to be informed rather forcefully that um, we are not amongst human peoples. Yeah, so yeah, such wonderful writing. All right, so nothing else in here. I cannot run right now. The everything tastes better with blood commercials. They, they really are heavy-handed with their approach, aren't they? Ad block, man. Blood ad block. The audio quality is royalty-free. It, it sounds like it probably is. It wouldn't shock me. I like fuck up the radio towers, maybe. Boom Avenue. Now that looks ominous. Oops. Nothing happened. I was like, "Oops, an accident that I did on purpose." Oh. Do I? Do I just? Yeah. I do just. Can I just leave? Can I just walk? <laughs> Into the wasteland? I think I know the answer to that question. Like, will the game let me do it? Or will the leeches... Will they find me? Actually, okay, I realize the game actually might just let me... Oh, there's a... I see it now. There's a wall. Perimeter. Okay, never mind. I'm curious about this... Structure.
Leech Bull Road. That sounds encouraging. Now, before I commit to this, I'm just going to go back and explore the rest of the city. Um, hey, that's James and Stacy. Thank you, both of you. James and Stacy. So, so, James is my stepbrother. And Stacy, so Stacy would be my uh, stepsister in law, I think would be how you would phrase that. Uh, thank you. Thank you to both of you. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you both uh, for the donation. That's very sweet of you both. Hope everyone's doing well. I hope the fam's doing well. I know I haven't gotten to see you guys in a while. Uh, it's almost like there's some weird news related things happening, uh, you know, throughout the last year and this year too. Um, nothing weird has happened, right, over the past year or so. Yeah, no nothing weird at all. So, uh, so no, all memes aside, I appreciate you guys. Thank you both. Hope, I hope you guys and the fam are doing well. I hope I get to see everyone fairly soon. Um, I know I was actually just talking to my mom a couple days ago. We were talking about some plans for Thanksgiving. We'll see kind of how it all how it all goes down over the next couple of days, a couple of weeks, I suppose. We're playing some old, not old, but like indie weird horror games, some weird spooky games. And this is one called, it's part of a collection called Haunted Cities. This particular game is called Leech Bowl, and it's very gray and very ominous, except I found what the game calls uh, leech meat or leech leech meal rather. So if I throw this bad boy, whoop, splatters it with blood. So I don't know what that accomplishes. It's like I'm vandalizing these things and places with big old blood splatters that skitter about a little bit there. Let's keep exploring the city. There's there's clearly more to this than meets the eyeballs. I like how it's kind of hard to see, hard to see when you're too far away. Yeah, but, oh, thank you, thank you, James. Seriously, that's very sweet of both of you guys. I really appreciate you guys. You're both very, very generous, and I and James, I, I know you after you, you're always there to 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 support the these these marathon streams that we do for charity. It's very kind of you, and I appreciate you, bud. Especially with these weird games that I play, I, I we play some weird nonsense here. This one is no different and no less weird than others. Literally painting the town red before. Do we lay a trail? Oh, maybe, Kev. Yeah, we haven't seen any monsters yet, but that would make sense. I mean, there's a lot that the game has implied here about leeches. And that is... Oh, heck, I wanted to take this with me. I just hit the place in front of it. So, we haven't seen anything yet, but it wouldn't shock me if we were about to, at some point... Some weird ass games. This is a weird one. Um, especially in these marathon streams. I tend to stream somewhat normal things um, during the week, like in my just my regular streams. And on weekends, we do uh, like Jackbox games and like party games, basically just like community games with viewers. So I tend to play less weird, uh, uh, esoteric nonsense like this. But I enjoy esoteric nonsense like this. So uh, this, these streams are a treat for me because, yeah, it lets me indulge in some some spooky times. I'm running out of, like, special places. Hematoma Way. Hematoma, that's like a... I know the prefix Hema is like some kind of blood-related thing. No, I, th I think you might be onto something, Kev. And I would say, like, in a general sense, backseat gaming is, is like... Is okay uh, within you know rec with that within rec uh, what am I trying to say respectable bounds. So yeah, so you're, you're doing fine, Kev. I appreciate you, man. You're doing just fine. And this is a game that yeah I've never played before. I don't think anybody has. Oh, maybe they're inside of here. I mean, I can't get through them. Maybe I need to hit, the hit these guys with the blood. I made a big old mess. It's weird because I have to like, because the door does auto shut. I think. Let me see. Yeah, what if I like just hoink, hoink it over the wall? Maybe if I could just get the right angle. No oh, noise. Okay. All right. Let's try this. Go fast. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I was thinking. Something, something in the mirror, in the window, rather. Um, 
Other thing I'm thinking of is these towers, these radio towers. We couldn't bloodify them. Limp Street. Yeah, this is... Everything is blood and organs and anatomy. Can I just... Oh. Uh oh, did I just break the game? Did I just like soft lock the game maybe? I wonder if I was not supposed to get in here. Like that's just a sprite, so it just rotates to follow me. I wonder if I hack this up because Oh, we can zoom in, that's nice. God dang it. <laughs> I think I goofed. I think I done goofed. Oh man. Alright, so I, I shouldn't have done this. I, I was thinking maybe something cool would happen. All right, so let's restart. Let's restart the game. That's embarrassing. I don't think I really made any progress to speak of. Um, thinking of like areas of significance. Yeah, breaking shit. Yeah, yeah, it, wandering into places that are forbidden. So interestingly enough, I cannot jump on. Well, these don't have like a hitbox, I guess. You can just walk through those. This guy cannot jump on at all. Oh, here it is. There's no map that I can find, at least. I can, like venture down these. No, I cannot down the down the alleyways. I like what Kev was speculating. I think that's a very smart idea. Maybe I should just like wall, like hit every wall. Maybe not every wall, but hit like a bunch of walls. And maybe after a certain point, something will happen, and it'll be my my objective will be clear. Um, and of course, we've already been in this bar area. Let me just vandalize a couple things. Okay, now this is the same place, right? The game done got broke. Some time ago, in a Here's the radio drama. Scientific institution. They kept a piece of heart alive for weeks on end. Well, I got to thinking, what if that heart began to grow? And grow and grow. And jump up here. Grow. Anything I can interact with, because this seems to just be very static and lonely and sad. Sorry for the herky jerky mouse movements, I swear. <laughs> I'm not trying to be like herky jerky with it, it's just the sensitivity is so high it's impossible to do anything less than herks or jerks. So interesting to note, when you enter that room, your blood vandalizations it cancelled out. A little bit weird. This guy's got an arm, man. Can throw real, real good. Maybe like hit the wall behind it? Oh, it hits the whole building. Oh, interesting. So it's not just the one wall. The whole building gets got. Interesting. Okay. Well. Maybe we like hit all the target zones. Maybe like maybe the ones that are tinted red. Uh oh. That's either a good thing or a bad thing. We could reach you. We could teach you to sing like us. Our mouths are open. Well, that's very nice of you to offer. Um, our mouths are open. Come on in, big boy. I, that's just okay. Anyway, <clears throat> no, I can. I'm. I'm a. I'm a big man. I'm a big boy. I can do this with without getting weird. Um. That's progress. All right, let's hit up some of the other, like, glowy-looking areas. Like, oh, another one of these guys. Oh, wait, no, we already got this one, I think. I think this is the tower we just got. Yes. Yes, it were. So we got to find more... There's one, two, three, four, five... Towers? And then and the factory. You think you've heard of it? Really? Because, yeah, I, I hadn't heard of it until... 
Uh, I'm a big fan of Jacob Geller, who's a YouTuber who loves to talk about weird video games like this one. And he actually made a video about all four of the Haunted Cities games, of which this is the, this is part two of the first one, the first Haunted Cities game. And I have not watched the video, but I saw the first 30 seconds and I was like, all right, I'm going to pause this video and I need to play these games. So part of this stream is just a, a reason for me to selfishly play these games like and then go back and watch my favorite YouTubers YouTubers video about this game. These games, rather. There's some trash. I'm the trash main. So it's trash all this shit. And I bet a thing will happen. Maybe. Aaron Signal. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. That name sounds vaguely familiar, familiar Dave. I'm gonna like hitting all of the buildings that are adjacent to this structure, but I'm not sure if that's gonna do it. Oh, no, it, it, it counted it. Okay, um... And that is obvious. Maybe the strat is just torch everything you see. Also, nice floating building here. Just get louder. I'm sure nothing bad's about to happen. That would never happen in a game like this. It's really high up. Okay, well, my theory has been challenged. Game theory. Uh, yeah, I thought that was maybe it. By... Alright, this, that was the bar. That's the first one. Let's try this one over here. Try more game theories. Thank goodness for this run button. Although it's not the bestest, it's far from the worstest. Buildings with graffiti on them. Another building I can enter. Whoa! Cholera, a Cholera Avenue? Really? You're gonna name your cities after viral or uh, bacterial outbreaks? Bacterial horribleness? Uh, oh, what's it say? What's it say? All the better to drain you with. Oh, good. Thank you. Drain me with your mouth. Oh, whoa. Um, hold on. I want to enter this other building. Presuming it will not reset my progress. Hope you guys like grayscale and red. Oh, that was a Jacob Geller video. Yeah, it's the it's the four short games about pain, right? She may look clean, but her flesh remains her own. Her mind remains her own. Hollow her. Oh my god. Ooh, this is some weird shit, man. Hey, what's up, XGF? Thank you, my friend. We are playing some wild shit. And I say wild shit in a very positive way. Thank you, XGF, for that very kind raid. Good to see you. Thank you, uh, Dave, for the uh, for that shout-out for our friend. Oh, and there's Po' Boy as well. Thank you, Po' Boy. Thank you, my friend. Po' Boy, that's very sweet. Thank you, XGF and Po' Boy. The double. It's almost like you two planned this. It's almost like it was all according to your plans. Both playing some Dead by Daylight. How'd the games go tonight, friends? It was all dubskis, right? Nothing but dubskis. We are playing some weird games. I like a lot of weird games. I like a lot of spooky games, and I don't usually play a ton of them. This is a game collection recommended to me by a YouTuber. Not personally. He didn't personally recommend them to me, but I saw him make a video about it. The YouTuber's name is Jacob Geller, and the video was called Four Short Games About Pain. This is Haunted Cities 1. Part two, this is called Leech Bowl, and it's very strange. It's It seems like this is a city for leeches. Um, dig for victory, dig for their sake. Seek out mouths in the soil, crawl between our teeth, they say. Very odd and very fucking weird. Anyway, it's good to see you, XGF and Zombie Giggles and Poboy. Thank you for being here, friends. XGF and Poboy are both members of the stream team, to which I and several other streamer friends belong. So if you're ever watching or wondering, 
man, I wish I could follow more cool streamer friends. I wish I could just find more streamers and follow them and watch their streams and compliment how handsome and or beautiful they are and tell them that they do very good backflips. If only I could do those things. That is how you do those things. We got that link right there. Couldn't be easier. Yeah, yeah, a lot of leeches in this game and leeches are apparently a uh, an overarching theme to many games in the series, hence why we're in spooky mode and my web- my lights are off. Webcam times. But thank you both, uh, how were your streams, by the way? How- how did the, uh, how did the Dead by Daylight see, uh, see, uh, games go tonight? No child can resist the glory of the divine pus. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, oh, does anybody have five cents? I wanna- what I do? Oh, I launched paint.net. <laughs> I my mouse exited the screen and I launched paint.net without knowing it. Uh, yeah, does anybody have five cents? I want to. I want to. Oh, it's bleeding. I, I want to. Do does anybody want a blood candy, a blood a bubble gum thing? <laughs> Convenience store, dude. It was incredible. It was incredible because because I remember you and Black Shadow recommended a bunch of those games to me. And I think I saw another person talk about them at one point, so I like wish this to a bunch of them. And Arctic, one of my mods, gifted that game to me. It was good as heck, man. As toxic as all. Well, I mean, you know, PvP. What are you gonna do, right? Start with some Apex and some. Oh, Musashi. Yeah, Brave Fencer Musashi. That's cool. I was Brave uh, Fencer Musashi. I'm I'm aware of that game, but I've yet to play it myself. Uh, by the way, meat. It's what you're made of. Keep that in mind. Thanks. I hate it. I will keep it in mind. I like all these advertisements. My goodness, dire cow leech. Okay, then. Yeah, chill as art, that's right. Yeah, because I know they make all kinds of good stuffs. The key. It's been acquired. What does it open? I guess we'll find out. Crying won't help you. Nothing will help you. Your only hope for purpose is to feed them. Feed me, Seymour. Yo, Sternzy, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, bud. We are still going strong, my dude. That's correct. We are approaching... We are, we are in our... We're about to hit our 15 out of 25, which means we are past the halfway point, if you can believe it or not. Yeah, Brave Fencing Mishashi, that's so awesome. I love it. I love it, man. Because I never played it, but I want to. Because I was only made aware of that game's existence like a, like a year ago, maybe. So I'm late to the party. I can hear her blood. What is she? Or no. She is turgid with it? What are her secrets? Blood, 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 blood. Um, gorge yourself on blood. Never stop. Yes. Good. I say that sometimes. I'll say yes. Good. When I see something this fucking weird. I like the eyeballs. He's got the eyes emoji. Eyeballs. Since got Oh, how'd it, how'd it go, Sternzy? Was it good? Uh, more blood shipments, blood cubes. Now we have a key, so that means more things might happen somewhere. Yeah, the blood was spilled, literally. These leech meal bottles. I'm not going to ask what's in these, bo in these trash bags. Just not going to ask about it. Not going to engage that style of questioning. Not worth my time. Life's too short. I'm going to roll with it. I think out of all these, this one might still be the weirdest one. This one might have to be the. <laughs> that's, maybe this will be the thumbnail. I don't know. I just. I, I have uncertain feelings about that one. They're all unpleasantness. Alright, so we have stained two buildings enough where they spoke to us, and they were adjacent to these. Radio towers. It makes me wonder if standing additional ones is the path to salvation. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting lucky. So it was, it was like a, it was a solo show, right? Yeah, saying a bunch of hits. That's good. That's good. I'm glad that he's still active. Um, I know that. Um, I know that Creed's been. I think. I think broken up for a while, but you know he's still he's still out there. Also making making the moves happen. I think it was this building right here. Yeah, all the better to drain you with. I think these are not necessary. It's like interesting, but it's not required. 
or like flavor text, blood flavor text. Let's go back to this tower. Not this, I mean, I guess we can also try to get this guy. Yeah, we already know about this one. So those are the, the only two I've ever found, actually. I know there's probably more where that came from. But it's hard to know for sure. And they get reset whenever you go through a room. It seems like they're usually adjacent to towers, usually. It was cheesy. I mean, I, I hope it was like fun cheesy, you know? It's like, it, it, I'm not I'm not bothered by cheese when it comes to music. So, I'm down. I'm down for some cheese. I have to be careful. I'm becoming more and more lactose intolerant as I get older, so I have to, you know, be careful about my cheese intake. Yeah, awesome cheese. That's what I like to hear. That's what, that's the good shit, my, my friend. Oh, another one. That skin of yours seems awfully tight. Uh, thank you. I regularly tighten my skin with, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to land that sentence. Hello, Warbird. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you, Mr. Warbird. So, is there like a way in? I, I can blood this thing. Doesn't seem to do anything. And we have a key, but, but where's the lock? The bloody lock. The literally bloody lock. I thinking maybe there was a door that I just didn't see earlier maybe because this building is so imposing like this has to be important somehow right arping with the guild and s oh uh, that's uh, yeah in a uh, guild republic excellent yeah that's awesome and a hydrate thank you warbird hydrate incoming thank you very much my friend we are playing the first of Four, uh, well, so there's four collections of spooky games called Haunted Cities. This is the first of those four. And this is part two of that first of four. This particular mini game, miniature sub game, is called uh, Leech Bowl, I think, or Bowl of Leeches. Yeah, I think it's Leech Bowl. That's the name of the road that we're on right now. And we found a key. I'm looking for a place to insert my key, aren't we all? <clears throat> Dr. Bird's got my back. He does. Dr. Bird says, stay hydrated, Alex, or else. So you've already been in there, I'm almost certain. Sputum Avenue. Oh. Okay, I thought I saw something. Some um, more ominous noises. I just want more. Oh, here we go. Here we go. More lore. Um. Star. Or asterisk. Ocean. Would spill out. You and. Oh, this is hard to read. Ew. Something ocean would spill out of you. If you just open up. Would spill out, out of out of you, if you just open up. I'm not sure about that first part. Asterisk ocean, or I ocean maybe. Maybe our our ocean maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Ten years old. Yeah. Had a big update. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, because I don't know of a ton of people that play nowadays, but I have a number of. Friends who played back in the day. So that might be a, a nice way to get more peeps back into the... Into the fold. Oh, you're, I think you're right, Stearns. I think it's a ocean. Or an ocean. Well, I, yeah, I guess that's the, best I, that's the best guess I could come up with, honestly. Like an, an ocean would spill out if you would just open up. I don't know if they literally want us to hit every single building. But I do like the lore, with how odd it is and spooky times. But, I mean, if we try to hit every single building, it will be here for a million years. And really, I'm just looking for a place to insert my key. 
Here's the key. We have bloodied that place pretty well. Ooh, there's a house over yonder. That's where my baby stay. I guess if it was a red house. I mean, I could paint it red, probably. Should I go equipped with some juice? Let's get some of the juice. We'll make it a red house over yonder. That's where my baby stay. Let's get a couple quick ones. Ooh, an easy one. There's nothing here for you, but a place between our teeth. Oh, good. Thank you for that. Yes, Sith using light side. Oh, interesting. So some you can kind of mix and match then. Darth Maul style lightsaber is a sentinel. Okay, yeah. So yeah, some some more variety. That sounds nice. More possibilities. I think that would be a welcome change. I would imagine. But we'll follow the path. We'll be a good boy. All right. Well, <laughs> I have to use this. Whoop. Well, I got that splattered. Alright, I'm sure bad things do not await. Adventure awaits! Huzzah! So let's, uh, before I commit to this door. Man, this really is just a barren ass landscape, isn't it? Goddamn. If I'm not back. Factories and and towers in the distance. All right. Uh oh. Oh. We done fucked up now. AA run. All right. Uh, code red. I don't know what it means. What is this? Oh, it's not good. It's not getting closer, but it is ominous. We gotta get to the factory, I bet. In the center of town. I'd be very careful I don't run into these things. They appear to be stationary, but I bet not good things happen if I walk into them. Can I just leave? Uh, probably wouldn't be a good idea. We're going through the door, we're suddenly out here again. Are we a different us? Or have we always been? It is so dark. Uh oh, I have ended up outside. Yeah, I feel like I should be following the inside. Paths. But it's so fucking dark, I can't see where I'm going. Uh... Oh, okay, we can't go that way. Is it brighter on your guys' end? Maybe I'll play off the OBS monitor. It's a little bit brighter on your guys' end. <clears throat> Optic customizations for more armor. More customizations for the look of your weapons. Yeah, that all sounds nice. Okay, there's the factory. I think that's a good thing. So, many paths are cut off. I'm going the right way. It's a tree. Uh, yes, it's a tree. Oh, it's so dark. Open wheel the right way. There's a door that wasn't here last time. Let's go in. What awaits? More churning. And tendrils. And awfulness. 
pretty big update. Nice, yeah. No, I've never played the game, but some homies did way back in the day. They seemed to enjoy it while they were active with it, so. I know it's a, it's a big one for a lot of peeps. I don't have a run button anymore, by the way. All I have is blood. Now, what can I do with this? No longer run. Do I feed the beast? Do I go out the way I came? Oh, I think the door disappeared. So we are trapped. It do be that way. Let's bloodify this thing. Yeah. That seems like a good idea. I wish I could run. I wish I had my run button back. My sprint button. This is as top speed as top speed will take me. So we're tra oh, we trashed the wall. Oh, wow. We're trashing everything then. Uh, I think I missed, maybe. Uh, maybe it's working? Yeah. <laughs> Not sure. Which one did I already get? I got that one, I think? It's so dark, I can't see which one I've got already. Where's that one? I got this one already? Yes. The only one I'm unsure about is this one. I apparently got this wall at some point. It's news to me. But this, these pillars. Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought I got that one by accident. Not the pillars. Man, it, just, it doesn't seem to paint it. Is there something else over here, maybe? Do I just walk into this stuff? It seems like it would lead to instant death. Like that's what they want me to do. What the leeches want me to do is to willingly accept them into my maw. Into their maw, rather. Right, I'm running out of ideas. Unless there's just a really, really persnickety sweet spot here that I'm just not hitting. Maybe hit that wall there, maybe. Let's try anything. Yeah, but it's no sprint sprint button. I'm just casually sauntering back and forth. <laughs> didn't even didn't even break, yeah. Alright, so yeah, my options I think are Try hitting this guy a couple times. And see if we get lucky or just waltz into the into the forbidden juice. I like this one, but it's sometimes very opaque. It is sometimes unclear. One more time. Maybe a different angle. There we go. So we've bloodied all four. Now what? Blood. Blood, yes. Do I press use? Or click or something? See, so yeah, I right click zooms in. Do I leave? The door has disappeared behind me. Throw blood around. Throw blood bottle simulator. Hmm. I don't know. And I tried the pillars already, right? 
I did. All I can think of is walking into the into the juice. I think it'll be instant death, and then we lose. Then I guess that's that's the end of the game. Like I, I don't think that seems like how the game would end. You would think there would be something other than just oh, you have no option but to die now. Or like walking into a death, as opposed to them like all consuming me all at once, maybe. Um. As the cat walks up top, maybe we're supposed to hit the walls? Behind there? Just bloodify like every possible surface, like the floor. Yeah, okay, that didn't do it. And... Eh! The ceiling. God damn it. Oh, is this... This might be body blocking me, actually. Yeah, so that's like a solid object. Alright. Oh, it's this- yeah, it's a solid object. Can I walk on it? Nope. So I cannot let it consume me. Maybe there's like a- a walkie path though, somewhere. Well, damn. Maybe over here? Or am I missing a key thing? <laughs> I like the looping audio, by the way. Here, I was thinking I was so smart and big-brained. Turns out I'm medium-brained at best. Can't jump. Yeah, nothing. Some blood splatters on the ceiling. Oh, maybe the ceiling. Er, ceiling. The pillars. Maybe the pillars did count, actually. Let's try the pillars again. That pillar's bloodied. Is this pillar bloodied? Now it is. Okay. All right. So maybe that's something. Something else to try. Something else to paint. Ah, uh -uh. I'll try anything, man. Desperation. I guess I missed. I got, I got impatient. It's easy to get impatient when you don't have a run button. Big but smooth. Yep, yeah, it's good enough. Whoops, sorry. Sorry about that. Smack my microphone. It's good enough of a brain. As long as it's filled with tasty blood. Tasty. Meat. Blood. I'm guessing the idea is that we're like confusing. We're luring the leeches to like hit the seat the the pillars that are spinning the building and to hit the tanks to like basically blow up this whole building or like or destroy it and probably take us out in the process. But I'm guessing that's like the idea behind what we're doing here. So you've bloodied all these pillars. Oh I guess there's these pillars back here. Oh my god. I'll try it, man. I don't know. I don't know, but I'll try it. Unless anybody else has any ideas, I'm down for suggestions. Backseating welcome, if anybody has suggestions on what else to attempt to bloody. I don't even know if I can reach that one, though, because this guy's going to body block me. Every time. Sold my blood to the dark web. Now I'm rich! Unless there's, like, multiple parts of the pillars. Nope, never mind. These got blood, too. Ugh, I, have, I do not know. Um, yeah, also body blocks. Yeah. Damn, dude. Uh, nothing there. Is the wall traversable? Like, hugging the wall and pressing the use button. No walls out of here. This pillar is like almost clickable. Let's try that one, I guess, because you can kind of reach out and touch it. Now, when I bloodied that one, I had to go from a different angle. I couldn't get it 
from here I had to go from like right here maybe it's like it's like different angles I don't know man again desperation times man let's try this one right here man I do not know I guess I could look up a hint if need be and I would say I'm approaching that point I liked the journey, but I'm not sure about this destination, you know? One of those kinds of games. Maybe I have to blight at the top of the pillars? Try that too, I guess. We'll see if we get like a little blood mark at the top of the pillars. Maybe we have to weaken multiple pieces. Nice throw. <laughs> eh. Okay, well. They didn't say my throw said to be amazing. Eh. <laughs> He's got a pretty good arm, but can only do so much. Nothing. Yeah, it is. It is uncertain. Yeah, I don't see any of the other blood splatters, so that's. I don't think it. And I think we determined we cannot hit the ceiling. Hit this wall again? Oh, Jesus. What's it say? Gotta, it, gotta feed me the leeches, baby girl, I think? Yeah. Alright, so... I guess the whole time is I'd hit that wall a second time. Whatever, man. Um, I liked the journey. I was not a fan of the destination. That was, like, cool up to the very end. Then it was like, what the fuck do I do, man? Um... I kept hoping, like, the thing would happen, you know? I kept hoping that they would appear. And they kind of did, but, um, yeah. I don't know. That one I, I wasn't as big of a fan of because it was so much longer. Or not as much payoff. Last one from this bundle is Pente. Pente. P-E-N-T-E. Pente.exe. So here's Pente. P-E-N-T-E. Well, we, we started facing this way, but I guess we can just go back that way if we wanted to. Freedom or feed? Oh, uh, hmm. Feeding would make sense, but freedom, yeah. Yeah, I almost have to kind of want to go back and look. Find out. So that door to his castle is interesting. I like the aesthetic. We have a show, we have a run button. Oh my god. And regular mouse sensitivity. That's a, that's a, 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 a treat, I would say. Island of Whispers. It's where she came to compose her songs, including the aria which kept the black star from waking to engulf the sky. Popular legend tells that if one is to sleep here at the time of Ophelion, stars will quiet enough to hear her singing. Oh, that sounds nice. This seems less spooky right now, at least. Is there a crouch button? There's not a crouch button, so I can't, like, sit on this. Oh, it's a- oh, it's a pool, I think. Not just reflecting. Reflecting. Oh, and it is just reflecting. Okay. I was thinking, like, do the swords actually go somewhere? It kind of looks like it does, but I can't actually go anywhere, anywhere, like, into it. It's... Apelia- Oh, Apelion, okay. Opposite of... Per- Perhelion, okay. Oh, it's a noun- Oh, I thought it was like a- I thought it was like the name of something. When it's an orbiting planet. Oh, okay, so it's like a- Yeah, so it's like a- Not like a named thing, but... Like a, just a, a regular noun. I like this. I'm not very spooked out by it, but I like it. I like this kind of stuff. It's very... 1970s progressive rock. It's like a Pink Floyd album cover, and I'm, I'm down for this kind of shit. Floating islands, and... Nonsensical medieval shit, and... Rock formations. 
and cool words like Apelion. Love it. Yeah, tranquil. I'm down. Dare say even warm at times. I mean, the swords are a little bit brooding. Foreboding, even. Ooh, whoa. I don't think I was supposed to be able to see into it like that. Yeah, there appears to be something down there. Maybe. Maybe we'll eventually be able to explore it ourselves. What this? Mouth do. Maybe more of a cosmic aura? Yeah, I guess we'll find out. The... Grav... Hinges? Gravenges? The Grave Hinges? While it is not known for certain what drove her from the island, it is said that the swords or a beacon for the, we'll just say, Grav Hinges, which gathered in the air and surrounded the island as she slept. Most maintain that she gave her life. Yeah, the V is kind of weird. Gave her life to drive them away, while others believe that she was taken by them to the well of howls and thrown in. So I guess that relates to this lore nugget over here then. I'm gonna whispers. Talking about the Black Star. I mean, I'm thinking of the David Bowie album called Black Star. Hear her song. What's this guy? Let's click it. Fountain of Ghosts. Swords first fell against her skin and opened her veins, which hemorrhaged the spirits she had housed within her heart. So many were the spirits that... Hold on. So many were the spirits that they welled within the wound and condensed like water to become a standing pond of lonesome wraiths. So, yeah, they do stab into the ground, kinda, and form this water, but you can walk on the water. The swords do end somewhere, like, into the ground. So, who's this woman? Is she... This island? Is she the castle? Maybe the answer... Is inside this very castle. Looked like it was clickable. The door to it, at least. So, let's find out. Kind of getting some Thief 1 vibes with these... This architecture. And we go. Well, right at the first search we go. Let's try this way. No maps. From what I can tell. Ab, M, yeah, nothing. Um, already. Uh, can't go much further this way. Water real quick. Hmm. Seeing a pattern here of dead ends. This could be something. Partially collapsed, maybe. Oh, I can't crouch. Yeah, I can, I can zoom in. That's yeah, a standard Unity thing. Well, shucks. Too much with that, fam. And kind of cheese it by jumping a little bit. Yeah, not too much, though. Okay. Well, the castle appears to be a bust for now. That's cool, though. I like this. I just can't do much with it right now. Oh. That you, Satan? Again? Like the fourth time tonight? It was tranquil for a second, but they broke all the lights. I have to fix them? Not fix them. On the water. 
Were these platforms here earlier? It's glowing. Knocked over the pedestal. I don't know who they is, but someone did a thing. And I'm not pointing fingers. Actually, I, I can't point fingers. I don't know who to point to. Knocking over museum things and, and nice, tranquil words. We're having such a nice time. Are there any platforms I can jump to? All shiny. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, same thing, yeah. When you first jump, you can almost kind of see into it, but yeah, it doesn't stay. And you can't swim, as far as I can tell. Huh. You go back inside. There's nowhere else to go, as far as I can tell. Let's check around the back. Maybe there's something else I missed. There's a platform we can jump to, maybe. This one is way too far away. Back at the castle. Nothing obvious. Hmm. It's so open. Yet there are so few answers. I'm going if I should just jump off the edge to see if that will like warp me to somewhere, but it strikes me as the kind of game where <laughs> it wouldn't do anything. It, it would it would functionally just get my dude murdered and it would just like close the game. Not a lot for second chances in this game, I don't think. Not like we're that far progressed. I mean, it just, re we just reload and it's nice and it's nice and easy. Maybe I need to click these other, like try to interact with these other pedestals. Once it got knocked over. Yeah, nothing. If I like walk up to the swords, to the blades. Man. The options are... Oh, here we go. This one's still standing. It hurts so much. Please no... Oh, oh boy. That's not encouraging. Where are they taking me? Don't make me go. So the implication here, the, yeah, like the swords, like, harmed a person. Or oh, this place is a person? Or something like that. Some kind of personification of... Of... Some kind of... Some anguish. Hmm. What do I do with this? Try the castle again. Uh, let's see if any more of these statues are up, actually. That one is still knocked over, and I'm guessing it's still uninteractable. Yeah, can't, can't set it back up, I guess. We don't have that kind of powers. That one's still knocked over. I want to get up there. I feel like there's stuff up there.
All right, look in the castle once again. Every time, every time I think, oh, can I swim? Nope. Swimming is forbidden. Illegal. All right, well, let's check. Yeah, my, my. I think it's just the castle. See if there's maybe something different now that we've activated things. Unless I can click it again? No. We can neither click nor unclick it, so it is... It has happened. Maybe the castle. Maybe the castle. Maybe if we, like, enter and then leave the castle, something else will have happened. Looks pretty same Z and castle to me. The same over here. Keep thinking that looks like a path I might be able to squeeze into, but yeah, no dice. Damn, yeah, nothing here. Oh, and now it's back to normal. Okay. So... I click this one again. If I ignore that one, I just click this one. Okay, so it just alternates, I guess. What if we just click that one? And then alternates. And none of the platforms are here. Floating platforms, that is. Let's do a quick once over, make sure I'm not missing anything obvious. Nothing else new has happened inside of here. Almost like the castle is just to toggle the happy mode or murder mode switch. Here we are once again. So, same messages. Maybe I select the inverse, maybe? I'm just thinking there's gotta be something. Where we're switching back and forth between the two. Hmm. Where are they taking me? Maybe I need to like read another one of the messages clearer to see if there's like some flavor text that hints at what to do. Taking me. maybe so maybe I know like it's like I need to find this person then. I could go up there. Wish I would I would go up there if I knew how to. Check the inside, make sure there's nothing new. Check the other messages, although I'm getting a little bit chilly, so I'm gonna I'm gonna don a jacket real quick. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just a humble little hobbit. I'm just a humble little Alex Hobbit man. And you know what helps me think? It's that them brain juices all buttered up and lubricated and going. Motherfucking cheese it's a let's bust these fuckers open. I got these from the grocery store just a couple nights ago and I'm very excited. Cheese it's are brain food confirmed. Especially if you just insert them into your brain. Just don't even bother putting them in your mouth. Just into the brain holes. Nothing bad could possibly happen. From such a 
weird act. Right. I will do as always. Whenever I eat on stream, I'm always really self-conscious. I will do my darndest, dear viewer, to not chomp loudly into the microphone like a fucking disgusting, strange, bearded hobbit man. So I'll I'll try my darndest. Sleep here at the time of Apelion. Hmm. So. I don't know of any kind of time sequence in this game. Do I like leave the mouse and, and like keyboard? Like, do I like sit AFK for a second maybe? I have to hear her singing. And there's the tranquil keyboard synths. And the other one. The other one, real quick. I guess I could check all three of them, I suppose. Go over from the island. Swords were a beacon. Well of Howls. The Well of Howls. Is there a sleep button? S. Z. E. I. Enter. Uh oh, what did I do? I did something. What did I do? I hit enter, and now the game- oh, there we go. Enter toggled some kind of other mode. Um... Just explodes, maybe, yeah. Wouldn't shock me. I thought this, I thought this lore would just be just flavor text and that was it. Maybe there's more to it than meets the eye. It sounds like we need to find a well. To find this woman, this, this person. I'm just like pressing different buttons. So there's something else I should be aware of. Okay. I got a sleep button. Oh. What was that? C. Okay, C is to crouch. C, C, Nor. Um. Hold on. There was a spot that was almost crawl worthy. Hold on. Out of curiosity. I hold C. Just hold still. Will something happen? I will take a contemplative cheese it. My guy does have a very latent. Head bob. What? But... 
Yeah, I don't think anything's happening. Kind of embarrassed I didn't notice this crotch button earlier. There's a V button. What does V do? Like, zooms in slightly. Anybody know what V would do in a Unity game by default? Zoom in slightly? Yes, I consider the cheese it I ponder the cheese it There's a spot right in here that looked almost reachable. Damn. It's a dead end anyway. It appears to be a dead end, dead end anyway. Right, now for the sad blood zone. What about the same stride here? I chill here, hold crouch, and just sit AFK, and then listen. And hear a song. Another contemplative cheese it Incoming. ETA, three seconds. Oh, I disabled mouse look. Somehow. How did I do that? As I'm pressing various buttons. Oh, okay, enter. Enter Toggle's mouse look. Okay. So, I talk about the well of something. And I can't actually descend into the water. Bodies of water, the stab wounds, something. Sticky keys, sticky mouse. Oh, everything's sticky. Unless I'm, I mean, I could, I could always try getting myself off the edge, but I think I know where that's going to go. This is a tricky one. And the sword entry wounds. All right. I don't expect this to lead me to anything, but here we go. I would, I won't go, she says. That is what we're supposed to- well, maybe. Maybe it was what I was supposed to do? Maybe. <laughs> uh, well, let's poke around a bit. I did it, for whatever reason. More swords, one, two, three. Four, five. Pillars. Welcome to the pillar zone. Welcome to Blight Town. Welcome to Blight Town. You were poisoned. The Blight Town experience. What does mouth do? It's very engraved. Zoom in. Water. I think that's what this is. Looks like water to me. Very open. And... Nothing super obvious. Hmm. 
maybe there's something in the middle. And seeing something like this, it's like there's got to be something either with the pillars themselves, or some kind of nexus <clears throat> that connects all of them. Is there a door? Planet of sneaker? Yeah, kind of. It kind of do be that way. And for the girl, a woman or some kind of spirit, priestess, something. This is very empty and shapeless. And I know not what to make of it. We've made it this far. Surely there is something that'll make all this worthwhile. Surely. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. You know, let's check the water. Big jumps. <clears throat> I like this. It's very tranquil and atmospheric. Oh. I am Jesus. I wasn't ready for Jesus water. Okay, this tells me. This, to me, indicates that I don't think we're going the right way then. <laughs> If Jesus water is on the is on the menu, I, I, uh, then I wouldn't be filling up on cheese. It's honestly. Maybe you have to do something with the statue with the pillars in a certain order. Hello, moon. Not significant at all. I'm grasping at straws here, man. Well, we wanted water anyway, so it'll just be a water, uh, uh, floor thing. I would assume that Unity probably has built-in stuff for water swimming, physics and such, but yeah. Maybe it was like, nah, we don't want to get bogged down by those kinds of details. Well, damn. My giant brain has been reduced to, um, at best, medium brain right now. Time to pray to Cthulhu. Maybe I use the crotch button at each pillar. And it makes them glow. Or something. We could try that. And these pillars are so ominous, they have to do something, right? Can we climb up them? I guess we could try it. No two button press? Yeah, I not... Not that I'm aware of. So, let's see. Uh, use. Mouse click. E. F. Nothing. Um. Walk up. And praise the sun. And then crouch. Bow my head. And Cthulhu, Fatagan, um, uh, Aya, Dagon. I, uh, whatever it is. No, nothing. Okay. Um. F, to pay respects. Yeah, F, F, E, R, T, or G. Sometimes G for give. Give info about game, please. G for gamer. Huh. I think... Don't know if I love this. This lack of intel. I thought I liked the first one. The second one, I was like, All right, I, I like what it's getting at. The, the end, not so much. This one, I... I have no info. I know not what they seek. Um... 
Put them out the buttons on the keyboard. Damn, dude. Um, this one's got the moon closest to it. Maybe this one's special. I, I'm really, I am stretching. I am reaching. Good thing I'm getting up to stretch every so often, because otherwise I could pull a muscle, a muscle from these reaches. I'm conducting. We reset. I, we could. But I don't think we're in the wrong place. I feel like we hopefully did a pretty okay job of exhausting a lot of options earlier. What I might do is maybe check for a hint if I could find one. I bet there are other people like myself who are like, yo, I followed the lady's advice and I jumped off the edge and now I'm in the pillar water zone. And I don't love it. And I wish to progress or escape or both. And the high point up here and nothing is apparent. Yeah, something, yeah, maybe something with the moon. Just follow it forever. Just keep walking towards the moon. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. The problem is, like, if I was over there and I saw the moon, I'd be going this way then. Maybe something happens when you go far enough into the water. Like, maybe there's an implication that if you walked into the water far enough, something will happen. Let's, let's try that, and if that gets me nowhere, then I will look up a hint. So yeah, I am... My list of ideas, my well... Which we're apparently supposed to follow the lady. My, my well has to have run dry. Of genius ideas. Let's follow the water. I haven't fallen in yet. And I... Whoa. Whoa. That, oh. Oh. Is that good? No. I think that's... Nothing special. Never mind. I, I was like, oh, maybe? Oh, oh. She, the last thing she said is that she, she didn't... She didn't want to go with them. Something like, I won't go in. So maybe we fucked up by going in. But it seemed like she didn't have a choice. It seemed like she was being forced into this well. Because when we jumped off the edge, we saw a message that you really couldn't have seen very easily, at least. Unless jumping in yourself. And that was the one where it's like, yeah, I, I think she said I won't go in. So yeah, maybe, maybe I messed up. Maybe I shouldn't have brought us here. Dragged off by spirits, yeah. Lighting is weird. Really hard to see. I know we're still moving. This map is enormous. If there's like a thing we're supposed to do or catch, then it's far from obvious. We're still moving. It's so dark. There we go. There's like a, there's like a perfect. Vertical. We're still moving. There we go. It's like, dude, I, I am. I, all, I too am stumped. It seems like it doesn't like it when we look ahead. The camera. I was like, I want some reassurance that I'm that I'm moving. The pillars are winking out of the draw dis. Oh, I have. I think I have a hit. Have I hit an invisible wall? No, I have not. Okay, never mind. So we're still moving. Pillars are no longer being rendered. This this can't be the solution, man. There's no way. This is so nonsensical. How have I not hit an invisible wall? Invisible wall, rather. This is bananas. Yeah, I think this was my last good idea. I am going to... Start wandering back. And while I am wandering back, I'm going to use my phone. My cell phone your device. Now that it's charged, it's a juice a little bit, charges batteries. Oh wow, 100%, holy shit, it was only plugged in for like half an hour. Um... 
I'm gonna hold this button and I'm going to uh let's see what what's this one? Um so this is haunted cities uh one pente E E N T E Oh, that was my spell haunted correctly. Uh, it will shock you. Oh, how's about this? Haunted Cities One game. Because Haunted Cities in Google gives you a lot of results. I'm actually just going to check the itch.io page. And see if there are... Conversations. Uh... Download more inform- here we go, more information. Ratings. And I like- There's no reviews on the page, really? Oh, we've reached the sand again.